Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 7. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 11 of Book 7. Now, before we begin, we need to recognize what the definition of proportional is. Now, if you recall from Book 5, Euclid had a definition of proportional which dealt with magnitudes. However, Euclid treats numbers different than magnitudes, so he has a different definition of what it means to have numbers proportional. So the definition is numbers are proportional when the first is the same multiple or the same part or the same parts of the second that the third is to the fourth. And what that basically means is if A and B are proportional are in the same proportion as C and D, then A is equal to some fraction of B, then C will also be equal to some fraction of D. And this is what it's meant to say that the numbers are proportional. So what does this proposition state? This proposition states if we have two holes, A, B, and C, D, that are in the same proportion as to something that is going to be removed from A, B, and C, D, so in other words, A, E, and C, F, that the remainder, E, B, and F, D, or A, B minus A, E, and C, D minus C, F, will also be proportional to A, B, and C, D. So how do we prove this? Well, first, by the definition, if A, B, and C, D, and A, E, and C, F are proportional, then AB is some fractions of CD, and AE is the same fractions of CF. And we know from Proposition 7 and 8 that we can subtract AE from AB, CF from CD, and it will still be the, re the results will still be the same fractions. So EB is the same fractions of FD as AB is of CD. And again, by the definition of what it means to be proportional, since AB is the same fractions of CD as EB is of FD, then EB to FD is the same proportion as AB to CD. And this here is what the proposition is stating. If AB to CD is the same proportion as AE to CF, and if we subtract AE from AB and CF from CD, the result EB to FD will be in the same proportion as the original AB to CD. And that's it for this group.